No, I'm not going to take up race car driving, although it does look like a lot of fun. Today, we're going to be fishing with some of these race car drivers from the uh, NASCAR circuit, some of the professional fishermen. We're all here to have a good time and a lot of fun today. It's not going to be a serious event, but we're up here on Lake Norman. It's called the Battle of the Grand National Stars. We're going to have a good time and just try and raise some money for the Year Foundation, which is an organization that has just started with the emphasis on grassroots conservation to enhance our fisheries. So you stay with us. We're going to have a good time today. I'm Hank Parker. Today, professional race car driver Dale Earnhardt teams up with Hank for a charity tournament on Lake Norman, North Carolina. And also today... Oh, good fish. Oh, should say bad fish. I'll never have caught a bad one. All of them are good. Hank fishes one of his most productive underwater structures. On the bridge piling. I'll tell you what. They get fished a lot, but they always produce fish. We'll take a look at some of the natural beauty in America's wilderness. Plus, some outtakes from our show you've never seen. Well, I tell you, we had to hunt them down this morning. It was a little bit slow starting off. We checked a few places that weren't real productive, but all in all, I think it paid off. Stayed persistent, looking for the fish, found them in the creeks, caught them, and I think that uh, we need to do that again. Okay. All right, Mike, come on back, easy. And still ahead, a okay, real Mike. shot in the dark. Come on back, real easy. Hank, I don't, know, I don't know what this is going to look like. We don't even have any lights to go out with you. Bill, I, I really don't know. Man, we got to get okay. this. Fish okay, are okay, biting. Okay, okay, stand by. Stand by. Come Tight. on back, Mike. Easy. Tight on, Hank. Okay. okay, Mike. Hold it right here. Mike, this is not going to work. Right. Well, Bill, we're just going to do the best we can. You know, Hank, he's, he's into this fishing now. He's wanting to go fishing pretty bad. I know, but people all over the country, they're going to be adjusting their television sets. It's, it, it, it's too dark. It's well, just... Bill, we're just going to have to make the best. All right, all right, Mike. Okay, Hank. i tell you what, these fish have really been biting out here at night. We're going to see if we can't get some footage. I've never tried this before. You know, all this filming and stuff new to me, so I don't know what we can do, but we're going to go out here and give it a shot anyway. All right, Mike, come on back real easy. Easy. Okay. Two, three, four. Sorry I missed your call. Leave me your name and your number and I'll get back to you. He's gone fishing. Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. Featuring the only sportsman to ever win the BASS Triple Crown. The Bassmasters Classic. BASS Angler of the Year. And Super Bass 4. I'm talking on this telephone, Angie, but this is your husband. If you remember what I look like, I haven't been home in so long. But I'm standing on the stage here looking out at about a thousand people at Superbass and I just won the tournament. Now, tell me I'm fishing with Dale Earnhardt, and he's out there. Right? I'll tell you, Ironhead got up this morning, and he got that uh, irresistible urge to get out there with that bow this morning, and uh, he he raced hard yesterday. You know, he finished third up there in North Wilkesburg. I heard he had a good banged run. a lot of sheet metal. That's getting to be his calling card, it looks like. And uh, So he's heading on his way just as fast as bass boat will get him over here. Well, that's good. Maybe we'll get a little bit later start, but we'll come on. Oh, yeah, you got two pros out there. You can you can uh, beat him to the finish line. Yeah, he can show me where the fish are. He lives yeah, on the line. I guarantee so it. Well, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It sure is exciting. I see a lot of enthusiasm on the part of the drivers, so it looks like it will be a lot of fun. Yeah, and the sponsors are here, and, the, you know, the, we see the helicopters flying out there. It looks like the Indy 500 getting ready to start here, and I guess it is the Indy 500 for bass fishing and NASCAR drivers getting together. And a little bit different, that's for sure. Yeah. 
tip. We're gonna just start dumping these dots. We've got 40 minutes to fish in this big tournament. And we're in a hurry. That's sort of like taking off before the jack comes down. <laughs> make everybody look good. Let me worry about you, Hank. Take it off before the jack comes down. Have you ever done that? <laughs> Not really. I've, uh, I've had them let it down and I took off without no tires on, <laughs> without the lugs on, and then what lack, and you know, then the lugs come off, the tires come off. <laughs> All kind of good things happen when you're in a hurry. Tell you what, a 13-minute pit stop to gas up and change four tires, that's pretty tough, isn't it? Yeah, you know that, you think about those, you seconds. get excited fishing or deer hunting or anything, you make mistakes. Racing. Yeah. You guys don't get excited in racing, do you? A lot of a lot of people get excited racing. You know, every time I've I've got excited, I've made made mistakes. Stop thinking, you know. You can do that fishing or deer hunting or most anything. I guarantee you. Every time you the guy can keep his cool the longest is usually the guy that comes out and the end wins, you know. That's exactly the same way in bass fishing, I guarantee you that Patience. You... Patience. You lose a fish or two or make a mistake and you get excited about it and upset and start to hurry and try and make up for it, it'll cost you. But if you can just maintain in the long run, it'll pan out. And that's a guy, like you say, that'll usually end up dominating or winning. You can't hurry a big old bass. You gotta take your time with him. I'd like to have the opportunity to try to hurry one right quick. <laughs> hurry him on the boat. Hurry him up. It's an awful good pier here. I tell you what, there's a lot of this brush that comes all the way out on it and it feels good on the it's end. Awful of good it. pier. There you go. All right. Big one, a Lake Norman Lunker. A Lake Norman Lunker. Well, I'll tell you what. That's about average size for a Lake Norman bass, though, ain't That's a Lake Norman giant, isn't it? That little fella's got one eye. Look how skinny he is. Maybe that's his problem. He don't have but... One eye. Can't see to get enough enough food in, can he? Hey, we gotta we gotta take a picture of these dudes before we go in. But you know the deal on this way in is uh, he bit my worm and hey. The deal on the way in is you take a picture of the fish with the scales. We got a little set of scales and a camera they provided us with back there. We take a picture of the fish with the scales and you got to document that and if you catch one i've got to document it we take it into the waymaster kind of a <laughs> kind of a slick deal ain't it one big fish could get you 10 big ones i think yes sir that's cool i ain't never fished and never heard of a tournament like that have you no this is something new this is for fun i guess that's why they're doing it well, 40 minutes isn't long to compete, even in a fun event like the Bass and Gas. But Dale and Hank, the professionals they are, headed back with their pictures in hand, knowing what had to be done. Their only hope was to bribe the Waymaster, who was none other than uh, Franco Hill. To a man who brought quail dropping jewelry to the fashion forefront, made it fashionable, Mr. Frank O'Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a big round of applause? Thank you very much, Jim. What do you think? It don't, it don't look like we got the winner, but let's go up there and find out what the verdict is. We had him up, can't we? I guarantee you. Let's see who's the president. Here you go, Barney and Jack Chance. We'll bring you fishing forward, and we'll see how they go and see how they weigh, and we'll see where y'all will stand. The first two contestants. How about Dale Earnhardt and Hank Parker? Hank Parker and Dale Earnhardt. Which one of them drives the racing boat? Which of them drives the car? He drives the car, I got the car. He drives the car, and you drive the boat. We win? I guarantee you, you can get that now. I got two of them, unless somebody comes up with more than that. You do. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm still in a 15 hit at 30 inch bass there with your own heart. And uh, no, you didn't use no dynamite. I mean, it was a 
and that, the weight on that and the length of it is really the actual weight. I was the way man was going real hard and we couldn't hold him straight and he weighed a little over 12 pounds. It didn't show up like that. All right, that's number two. That's Earnhardt and Parker. Y'all look like y'all done good, so I believe we've got everything we need again. And y'all take your place in the sun and just wait. We'll get right back to you just a minute let you know what's with. But I think you done done pretty good. I think this is the place. I can't even hardly tell. It's so dark. Yeah, Bill, what do you think? We're going to be able to make this work? Oh, oh, man, this is a joke, Mike. Look, this is this is embarrassing. I mean, people across the country, they're not even going to take it seriously. I understand that, Bill, but, you know, this is kind of your idea to start with. Hey, 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 look. It was my idea, but I said, hey, Charlie, how about the lights? And you know Charlie's answer. Yeah, and I said, you barely believe it. Yeah, I barely, barely believe it. So, I mean, here we are without lights. It looks dumb. Well, didn't you bring his flashlight with you? Man, it would take 10,000 flashlights to make this thing look right. This, It's not going to work. I get, it's not going to work, Benji. Well, we we'll just have to do the best we can. Hank's enjoying his fishing. I'll give you the kids. So. Tell you what. There is some big fish in this lake. Here we go, pretty nice. Oh, God, there he is, there he is. Oh, man, I got, oh, I got a hog. Oh, Lord. I, he got me wrapped up. I can't see what he's around. Oh, I got a good one. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Look at that fish jump. Oh, man. God. Oh, man, that is a hog. Hank, we're not able to see it. I'm telling you, we cannot oh, see Oh, man, Bill, surely you can get it. Can you not get the camera on it? Man, a live water fish. That is a giant. Whew. I can't stand this. I love this night fishing. Man, he blew that buzz bait up. I'm, the people I've talked to are not catching anything in the day. Man, that is a... Back by the light on the back of the boat so we can see you. That is a nice fish. Man, you guys, that camera won't pick up any better than that. All we know, Hank, is try to get back there by the back of the light see if that helps any. Hey, man, look at that fish. Can you get it, Bill? I don't know if it's going to work or not, Hank. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys just turn the camera off because I am fishing. I've come all the way out here and we've loaded up. I'm going to fish. Coming up, bloops and bloops. So if you'll follow these few little simple procedures, it'll eliminate all the maintenance you have while you're on the water and you'll be amazed at how they'll... So if you'll follow these few little simple procedures, it'll eliminate your maintenance problem while you're on the water and it'll... So if you'll follow these few little simple procedures, it will eliminate any of the limits from the I don't know why it will. That is, this is it. But next, Hank gives us some practical advice that? for productive fishing. Golly, bum, he got me. Payback, I got him, he got me. That's a good technique. That's a good technique for catching fish on pilings in the wintertime. I talk about a good summertime pattern. I don't think that jigging pilings necessarily is productive for me in the uh, in the wintertime as it is in the summertime, so I call it a summertime pattern, but it's also productive at times in the winter. You're looking at the high technology laser system Berkeley uses to make Trilene fishing line. The line that's stronger than the rest. The line Jack Chancellor fished to win the Bassmaster Classic. Mike Folkstead used to win the US Open. The line that set over 1,000 world records in the past two years. And the line that guarantees satisfaction or your money back. Fish Trilene. Berkeley Trilene. America's extra strong premium monofilament. It's hard to believe a line that thin can be so strong. When I'm out here on the lake, all of a sudden that I can take, and the warm wind blowing by me, think I'll stay. My bass goes like a song, she playing down and running strong. Berkeley makes a rod so sensitive you can feel a feather drop on the tip. It's called the Berkeley Bionics, biomedically engineered to be the lightest, most sensitive graphite you've ever fished. 
Berkeley scientists have taken you apart muscle by muscle, cast by cast, to build a rod that significantly reduces wrist and forearm fatigue. A 100% high-energy graphite that casts like the wind. A rod that makes every strike register as a solid jolt. And a rod that can make you a better fisherman. Berkeley Bionics, the best-performing graphite rod you've ever fished, or your money back. Why do I use original fish formula? Simple. Fish formula contains an oil base that perfectly duplicates a natural visual discharge given off by shad, crayfish, and most everything game fish feed on. The scent and taste attractors in the formula stay on my lure and live bait longer and at greater depth. Original fish formula absolutely helps me catch more and bigger bass than any other species I fish for. I just don't go fishing without original fish formula. Little fella got me wrapped up around the pilings. Woo, thought he was a good one. And I prayed that line, I was lucky to get him. Come on, boy. Bite my worm. I'll tell you what, the old standby pays off. I very rarely in the summertime go by a bridge without stopping and throwing at the pilings. It can be awful productive. It's a good place to catch a big fish, too. I think it's got about everything that a fish would want. It's got shade, usually got depth. Of course, it indicates a channel or there wouldn't be a need to put a bridge there if it wasn't some type of a creek or a river. So don't pass your bridge pilings up. The water we got here is about eight or 10 feet deep. And I like to tight line a worm. I like to get the boat position where I can throw parallel to the pilings and kind of tight line that worm down. A lot of times these fish will suspend uh, around the pilings. Now this bridge has separate poles, steel pilings. A lot of them have one big concrete base, but the fish will suspend either on the concrete base or the pilings. Like you have here, I like to throw up between those pilings and just tight line that worm. And a lot of times, the bait will never get to the bottom. Occasionally, I'll fish topwater baits around the pilings, or I'll fish a spinner bait, especially in dingy water. But uh, the fish will often suspend because of the shade. You know, the piling offers a lot of shade for them in the bridge, and they'll suspend up and the water's dingy. I'll fish a spinner bait, or if it's deep water, I may throw a jigging spoon or parallel it with a crankbait. But usually when the water's eight, 10 feet like we have here, I'll just throw that worm up, tight line it down. That'll catch the fish if he's suspended, and it'll also catch him on the bottom. So don't pass up those bridge pilings in the summertime. Get in the boat with us, Duff. Boy, it's pretty. Gorgeous guy. In the hills, in the stream, in the falling snow. What a view. You know, every once in a while, there comes a product that has a real practical benefit to the fisherman. And I'm proud to say that Quick Kick's that kind of a product. No bells or whistles, Quick Kick is just the most innovative improvement to the troll motor since the foot pedal itself. Quick Kick, when attached to your foot pedal, secures the pedal in place. This will allow you to travel at high speeds in rough water without fear of damage to your boat or your trolling motor. 
yet at the same time pivot from side to side with just a simple kick of the foot. This will allow you to position your pedal without bending over and using your hands. And best of all, Quick Kick is available for any size troll motor in all types of boats, from aluminum to fiberglass. When ordering, be sure to specify the model of your trolling motor. Call toll-free or send $22.95 plus $4 shipping to Hank Parker's Quick Kick, Denver, North Carolina. Quick Kick will give you more time for the <laughs> important things. <laughs> Legend has it the color setting new standards for small outboard performance is black. Mercury Phantom Black. Fast, one pull starting. Smooth, fuel efficient power. Super slow, super quiet trolling. Features that make your fishing and boating a fun filled, hassle free experience. Head out with a legend. Head out with Phantom Black. Mercury Outboards. Put the legend behind you. LCR 8000 from Humminbird, the liquid crystal recorder that makes charts obsolete. With features like totally automatic operation, total screen update, screen memory, and zoom and bottom lock with split screen viewing, the LCR 8000 does things charts can never do. Humminbird LCR 8000, the ultimate in fish finding technology. I can't believe this. We've waited two years to get in fish like this for television. You guys telling me you can't film it? Oh, golly, bum, I took it away from him. People will not believe it, Hank. They're not going to believe it. I could care less, Bill. I'm catching fish, buddy. Oh, man. There he is. Oh, man, man. Man, there is some fish in that place. Here's Hank trying to take us to a commercial break. I'm going away while we're using this. All right, yeah, you got it? Over anyway. So don't leave me. Hey, while you're going to a commercial break, we're going to find some fish. So come back and be with me. OK, you like what line? Ready? Find some different cover anyway. Tell you, while you're going to a commercial break, we're going to find a few fish. So you don't go away and come back. <laughs> and when you're using light line, you need to be able to use a rod you, like a uh, rod out of a 57 Chevrolet. Tournaments like these, you know, our outboards constantly get abused, and occasionally we need some service. But today, I've got Mr. Roy Regal here, a tech rep from uh, the factory of Wisconsin, Fond du Lac, up at Mercury Outboards, where they make Oscar Mayer wieners. And occasionally, they'll put these Oscar Mayer wieners in these three-cylinder outboards, and what they'll do... Sometimes, even with a guest like Bobby Goldsboro, <laughs> things got a little carried away. You ready? <laughs> that Osprey must have took that brim home and put it on his fall. He finally got rid of it. He's he said, ever, ever since we've been here, he said that thing Don't walk on me, Bobby. I'll still... <laughs> 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 Don't walk on me, Bobby. I was still talking. And when you shave that lip, you start by just taking a little bit off at a time and then cast your bait or stick your bait in the water on your line and just uh, bring the rod tip to you. And when you do that, what you're actually doing is aerating the water. And it'll draw a lot of carp. And the carp will come up the side of the boat, and you can take sugar pops. Kellogg's makes a bait that uh, a lot of people eat for breakfast cereal, but actually it's made for carp fishing. And when you carp fish with sugar pops, the main thing you need to remember is you really don't need milk. Uh, you just put them in the lake, you aerate the water with the crankbaits, the carp come up, you catch them on the sugar pop. One heck of a way to start the day. It's all over but the crying. <laughs> oh, I'm gifted in a lot of things, they tell me, but singing is not one of them. Take it out easy. Okay, that's good. Right there, hold it. That's good. Well, I'll tell you what. 
Lights, Mike. Leave your light. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Hey, I tell you what. Uh, our night fishing segment didn't work out. You would not believe what I caught. Man, it was fabulous, but, uh, you know, I know you're not going to believe all that. But I hope you enjoyed the rest of the show anyway. Thanks for being with me today and tonight. God bless you. I'm Hank Parker. Okay, buddy. We're ready. Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. Sponsored by 100% high energy graphite rods from Berkeley Bionics. Fish formula, we fool Mother Nature. Humminbird depth sounders. Mercury outboards, put the legend behind you. Mincota, quiet power catches fish. Ranger boats, we still build them one at a time. Ryobi, there's never been a better reason to go fishing. And Trilene, extra strong.